Okay, so in this section here, we're going to speak about the if statement. Now, the if statement always follows the same path. We have a statement, first of all, which either has a true or a false answer. We have a value we want to be shown if it's true. And we have a value we want to be shown if it's false. So everything has to have either a true or false statement. You're either over 18 or you're not. So we're going to use this example on the left-hand side here. The people on the left-hand side, you can see their names and their age. We're going to run an example that says that if the person is over 18, they're allowed in. And if they're not over 18, they're not allowed in. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is the test? And the test is... Is the person's age greater than 18? If it's true, we want to say yes. Let them in. If it's false, we want to say no. You can see we've three parts. We've the test, we've the value if the above test is true, and we have the value if the test is false. We're going to put this into Excel terms. So instead of saying, is the person's age greater than 18, we're going to replace the person's age with the first cell reference. So the first cell reference is B2. So the test is going to be, is instead of the person's age, we're going to put in here B2. So we'll just say cell B2. Is B2 greater than, we don't need to put greater than in, we put the greater than sign. So we can use a couple of different signs. So this is the greater than sign. Less than always points to the left. So is B2 greater than 18? So this is our test here. We put it in red writing so we can see it. Is B2 greater than 18? Don't worry about whether it's right or whether it's true or whether it's false. We're just doing this statement out. If it's true, we want to say let them in. So we can leave that there. And if it's false, we just want to say no. So there are three things. Is B2 greater than 18? Let them in is the value if it's true and say no if it's false. So can you see that everything is either going to be true or false? It can't be in the middle. If you're 18 today, you're over 18. If you're 18 tomorrow, you're less than 18. So we can go one step further and we can say if B2 is greater than or equal to 18. So if someone was 18 and they weren't allowed into the pub until they were 19, they wouldn't be very happy. So we can say is B2 greater than or equal to 18. In other words, if they're 18 and a day, they're allowed in. So now we go to put in our if statement. So we click into where we want the answer to go. Keep in mind this section here. We click in where we want our answer to go. And we go up to our functions. We can use the auto sum button for this. So when we click on this drop down arrow like we've been doing previously, we have an option for more functions. It will take us into this insert function dialog box. We could also click on this FX button, which is over here at the corner. That's the function button. Or we could click on the formula tab. So we want to do an if statement. We can search for a function. Or you can see we have the if statement here. So if I click into the if statement, and I say OK. The if statement opens up. I'm just going to move it around my web page so I can see it. So it's asking me for a test. Checks whether a condition is met. So we said earlier, is the age greater than or equal to 18? So we can type this straight in. Is B2 greater than or equal to 18? Don't worry about whether it is or whether it isn't because we can change the numbers later on and it will still check for that condition. The value of true is going to be let them in. So we click in here. And the value of false is going to be no. Notice it automatically puts these inverted commas or the quotation marks around it for you. So we are saying if the person is over 18, it's going to say let them in. If it's not, it's going to say no. So we say OK. In this first one, you can see it's saying let them in because the person is over 18. We'll just check and we'll put 17 in here and see if it changes for us. So you can see it changes straight away for us. And what we can do now is we can click and drag it down. And it'll go through and it'll see the different people. Why should we change this person to 18? 
it says let them in. If we put it to 17.9, it says no. So it's either true or it's false. So I always tell students that if you can break it down into English, have it a section of true, a section of false. So we always look at what is the test? What are we trying to do? So is the person's age greater than or equal to 18? Okay, so here we have another one here. It's more or less similar. It's asking us, it has the person's name, the score that they achieved, and if they pass. So we want, if their score is above 50, we they pass the exam. If it's less than 50, they fail. So we want to look over here on the right-hand side. I always try to make three lines of this. So what's our score? We'll type it out in English. Our test is if if the person's score is greater than 50 we'll put greater than or equal to remember if you get 50 you pass so if the person's score is greater than or equal to 50 the value of true so we'll just put value if it's true, is pass. The value of false is fail. So we've got pass and fail. Now we can change this into equations or Excel terms. Well, we can take the greater than or equal to out straight away and we can put in greater than or equal to. We can take out that too as well. And then the person's score, we can take that out. And it's going to be B2 again. So there's our equation, B2 greater than or equal to 50. The value of true is, we can take that bit out and just leave pass. And the value of false is, we can take that bit out and just leave fill. So there we have our three lines of text now that we want to put in. And again, we can go to the insert function, either using this FX button. Or we can use the auto sum button up here and use this FX button. So we click where we want our answer to go, click into the FX button, you'll notice it brings up the exact same window. We have the if statement and we click on OK. The logical test is B2, we can click in, is B2 greater than or equal to 50. If it's true, say pass, put in capital letters. If it's false, say fail. Notice it puts the quotation marks above it. Watch when I click back into this one, it automatically puts quotation marks in for me. And we say, okay, the first person has a fail. If I click and drag it down, you can see it has them all here. If I put a zero in for somebody, it'll automatically come up with a fail for them. If I put 49.9, remember it's less than 50, they fail. If I put 50 in, because it's equal to it, they pass. If I put 50.1, they still pass. So you can see how it works. So that's an if statement. An if statement can be used for budgets. If a budget is met, then say yes or no. And they're a very easy thing. Once you get this English out of the way, remember there always needs to be three lines. A test, a value of that test is true, and a value of that test is false.